Hello, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to create and edit your menu navigation to link to your collections on Shopify. So this video is going to go over the menu navigation bar at the very top. So when you push up a collection to Shopify or you create your own collection, the menu navigation is not created or, or is not set up to link to these collections. And that's what this video is going to be about. Typically, when you first start out on Shopify, you'll have an all collections link at the very top of your menu. And this link is a very good point to start with. Uh, when you go to all collections, it actually shows you every single collection on your website. And this can be regardless of whether the collection has inventory in it or not. So it's probably a good idea to maybe hide these collections or remove the collections that don't already have inventory in them uh, if you do see any. Uh, otherwise, you can push up inventory to, to the actual collection and the images will automatically populate here. So again, if you're just starting out and you do, don't have your navigation built just yet, um, your customers can still get to all your collections by clicking the All Collections button at the top here. So to edit your navigation and actually put your collections on your navigation bar, you want to open up a new tab and we're going to go to our admin page. So in my case, mine's already signed in. Uh, you will have to sign in if you're not already signed in. So I'm going to go into my admin center here. All right, uh, I'm going to make a quick stop to our products area on the left. And we're going to look at our collections real quick to see what we have to work with. So I already have uh, I have tops, I have pants and shorts that I've already pushed up inventory. You did see motorcycle underneath vehicle, uh, which is that one menu option. And I had a test two collection that was pushed up. And again, that's apparent on the very top bar here. So I already have that test one, there's that test two, the vehicles, motorcycle. What I'm missing is an entry for like women's apparel and uh, that pants and shorts and tops. So I want to create that. So that's that's the first thing I like to look at is the collections to see what's already here. Uh, and then we go to online store on your left. That's under sales channels. And then we're going to go to navigation. So in navigation, we're going to edit our main menu. And that's that top bar that you saw earlier. So we just click on main menu. And in your case, you're probably not going to have any entries in here other than home, catalog, and all collections. Uh, we want to add one in between vehicles and all collections that has a drop down for the other two collections that we're interested in adding. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the add menu item link at the bottom here. From here, we have two options to pick. We can either do a one-to-one -one ratio and just say, I just want the collection to show up on the menu bar. If you have too many collections, that can be a bit of a, a problem. You have a really busy menu bar. So what you can do, we can enter just the collection name uh, if we want to here, and uh, that can be tops, or uh, we can create a drop-down menu, which uh, I think organizes it a little bit better. It looks a lot better um, aesthetically. So all we have to do is put in something like women's apparel. And then for the link, we can do one of two things here as well. Um, you can push up your first level category structure as a collection and you can link it here. It'll just show you, you know, if somebody clicks on women's apparel uh, without actually clicking the drop down uh, or all the drop down options underneath women's apparel, they'll just be taken to everything that's in women's apparel. And you can set that up in Listing Manager. I'll show you where that is. Uh, if we go to Listing Manager and we go to Settings, Options, I'll go ahead and sign in. Under Shopify Options, there's an entry for the Category Level 1 Behavior. So that's your department. That's, you know, in this example, Women's Apparel. So we drop this down. We say, I want to push that up as a collection. And now we can use that collection. Uh, of course, as long as an item has been pushed up underneath that collection, uh, that's when it will get created on Shopify. So we can go back. Uh, once I have that set, I click OK, push up my item. Uh, I can then go back into the website here on Shopify, and I can link women's apparel to that category level one women's apparel collection. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click home page. Because uh, I doubt anybody's going to pick, you know, just click women's apparel. Um, they actually need to click one of the menu options underneath it in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We'll click add. 
So now I want to add something underneath the women's apparel navigation bar. And uh, the way I do that, I just click add menu item again. And this is where we actually create our link to a collection. We're going to end up linking two collections in this video. So the next collection, I just want to call it tops. And then I already have an item up there that's uh, associated with tops. So I'm just going to type in tops again under link. And here we go. So you'll see the tops option here. You have to click on the actual link in order for it to get created. Otherwise, if you just hit enter, it's not going to work. So you have to click on what you see uh, pop up as a result. And then it'll actually link the uh, it'll actually link the top. So from here, we'll go ahead and click the add button. And what we need to do now that it's created the actual menu is we need to drag it underneath women's apparel. And you'll see that it's working because it'll when you drag it on top of women's apparel, there'll be a little arrow that uh, basically signifies a drop down. So I'm going to go ahead and let that go. And now we see that there's like a nice little hive structure and uh, tops is underneath women's apparel. So on top of that, I want to go ahead and take women's apparel and put it in between all collections and vehicles. So I'm just going to drag it from the left and I'm going to add it in between all collections and vehicles. And there we go. So now we have all collections, women's apparel, and then we jump to vehicles and then you'll see our test one. Now we have the ability to add a second link to the women's apparel menu structure here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add pants and shorts. All we have to do is click the add menu item to women's apparel here. And I'm just going to type in maybe bottoms in this case. So this is an example of us using a different name, but still connecting the correct collection. So I'm going to put the name as bottoms, but the link, I'm going to link it to pants and shorts because that's what's actually coming over from Liberty. And there we go. So I just typed in pant. And it, come, it actually shows that uploaded pants and shorts collection. And I'm going to click Add again. So now we have everything built out. We're ready to go as far as like the menu structure is concerned. I'll just take you back to the actual website first. We'll notice that in between all collections of vehicles is not there yet. We have to save our changes here. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Save button at the top. There's also a save button at the bottom as well. And if we go back to our main page here, I'm going to go ahead and do a control F5, which completely refreshes the page. And there we go. There's our women's apparel uh, top menu option. And like I said before, I click on women's apparel. It's going to take me back to the home page automatically. So that's not what that's meant for. That's just a drop down menu. So now if I hover my mouse over uh, women's apparel or click on it, uh, you'll see tops and bottoms. These are the two options. So if I click on tops, I get taken to the tops collection. If I click on bottoms, I'm taken to the pants and shorts collection. Now all we have to do is go back to our admin center and we go ahead and connect all of our collections to our navigation. We just kind of rinse and repeat until it's all connected. And then from that point on, you'll see this all kind of get flushed out at the top and you'll have a nice organized Shopify site and people will be able to see the inventory much easier. This was a video on how to create and edit your menu navigation to link to your collections on Shopify.